So can you elaborate some of the issues that we highlighted by the um, Malay businesses? Uh, one, one issue which rose, which we had a long discussion about, as you may, as you may expect, is the current economic situation. Uh, this is on top of everybody's minds, not only the SMCCI, but all the groups I have spoken to, trade unionists, small and medium-sized enterprises, ordinary people. It comes up in every meeting which I have had in the last uh, three to four weeks. And it's not surprising because you open the papers today, you, you just read uh, more and more worrying news. Last Thursday, when I spoke at a function organized by the Sim Singapore Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry and a doorstop interview of the day, <coughs> I said that with a, I was getting more worried by the day about the economic situation. And uh, last Thursday, I said that I see a perfect storm of problems descending on the world economy caused by the Eurozone crisis, which has worsened, and also, of course, uh, the downgrading of the U.S. Uh, AAA and the problems over debt in the U.S. This week has been a terrible week for all businesses. Stock markets are in turmoil. Share prices have dropped across the, across the, across the globe. Governments, leaders, policy makers, uh, central bankers are struggling to restore some sense of stability in the markets, inject some confidence in companies. Um, many of the government leaders have cancelled their August holidays to go back to meet with their ministers. It shows the severity of the crisis. On Tuesday, the U.S. Fed, recognizing the difficulties, uh, said that uh, they would maintain the current low interest rates, almost zero, for at least two years. Uh, this resulted in a temporary bounce on the U.S. stock market. Yesterday, it went back again. The falls on Wednesday eliminated any short-term gain. So my view is, uh, I am gravely concerned about the economic situation today. Um, the problems are there in Europe. Now I see that even France, people are speculating that they may lose their AAA status. There have been sharp falls in bank shares in many, in many countries. I think this is very serious. Um, we are in uncharted territory now. I hope that the governments, the policy makers, the central bankers, I think they are meeting around the clock in order to try and arrive at some co coordinated uh, action to stabilize the markets and to make sure that the economies are not affected. Um, I hope they succeed. But we should be prepared. I believe in the Boy Scout motto, be prepared. There will be trying days ahead for Singapore and for Singaporeans in the coming weeks and months. Uh, economies, I hope, will st stabilize. There may be some temporary disturbances. We Hopefully, this will eventually subside. 
But should the efforts of the policy makers not succeed? Should the problems develop into a crisis? And the crisis affect Asia and eventually Singapore? The consequences of the economic crisis, if it should it happen, will be very sudden, very widespread, and very destructive. So I think, speaking as a private citizen, I like to stress I am speaking as a private citizen, I think it's not too early for us, or for the government, to draw up contingency plans uh, in case we need them if the crisis hits Singapore plans to elevate the hardships faced by Singaporeans and companies plans to keep jobs going so that people will not be unemployed plans to make sure that our economy remains intact and this is very important particularly to avoid large-scale layoffs because this has a very detrimental effect on society. If you look at what happened in England, happening in England today, youths who have been unemployed for many months, years, and worse still, who see no prospects of being employed at all, out of frustration, they launch a wave of riots, looting in London and across many cities throughout England. You cannot believe it. This is happening in England. Somebody says it's like a, a war zone. We should never allow that to happen in Singapore. It will destroy us. So we should be ready, be prepared, have contingency plans. I think this is where... Uh, as president, if I'm elected, I would have the experience, the background, because of my work in GIC and in the private sector, to be able to help to work with the government, all political parties and civil society in this national effort to help Singapore get through the crisis. And that's why I feel that I have to step forward in this uh, difficult time. Uh, because I can contribute. And this is where the custodial powers of the president becomes very important because in the weeks and months ahead, the president may have to be involved in decisions uh, which concern the economic health of Singapore. So you need a steady hand as a president. You need somebody who has gone through this before. And I have in 2008, uh, 2009, we went through a crisis which almost destroyed the whole world. We survived because of uh, a strong leadership. Now again, this goes beyond just economics. What's happening in US and Europe today, to be quite blunt, is a failure of political leadership to take the tough measures which are required to face the problems. I'm confident that our government will uh, do what is necessary. I believe that our government, with experience, with strong leadership, will be able to get Singapore through this crisis. Our best days in Singapore still lie ahead. And I hope that as President, uh, if I'm given the opportunity, I will be able to make a contribution because I have the background, I have the knowledge. I think I have the temperament not to panic because you need a steady hand in these difficult times. But we are facing difficult days ahead. We must be prepared. And the earlier we prepare for any contingency, any crisis, the better it is for all of us.